Hey friends, it's Quenby. Welcome back for another video. Today's going to be very fun because it's one of my favorite things, an unboxing video. This is a box of inventory that I bought from Helpsy Source. That's the wholesale company I'm using these days. I bought this stuff so that I can resell it on eBay and Poshmark. I'm a part-time reseller. I mostly love thrifting and lately I love going to the Goodwill Outlet bin. So I'm getting a lot of inventory, but as a part-timer, I have committed to a goal of listing 10 items a day, every day, seven days a week. So that's a lot of inventory I need. So I buy these boxes to supplement my thrifting and the inventory comes right to my door. Let me give you the details on this box and then we'll jump in. I have no details here. I just, <laughs> it just says some numbers. Okay, this is, it just said pre-owned clothing. It's 40 items. I love getting that many in one box. That is a benefit, okay? It's a benefit not spending those hours thrifting, but the stuff just comes to me. One of the things I love about Helps You right now is you can shop by brand. So I recently bought a Ralph Lauren box. That's actually a really good video if you wanna learn a little bit more about all the many different Ralph Lauren tags and all the lines within Ralph Lauren and which ones are good, which ones are amazing. Um, I thought, I thought that video was like, I learned a lot, I shared what I learned and you guys shared a lot with me, so thank you for that. I also recently opened a free people box from Helpsy Source and that one was, I almost said dynamite, like who says dynamite anymore? I don't even think I've ever said dynamite, so I don't know why that popped in my head. That one was amazing, a fantastic box. This box was $270 for 40 pre-owned items, which means $6.75 per item. If you're interested in checking out Helpsy, I have a discount code. It's in the description section, but it's the Grateful Queen, all capitals, all one word. You get a discount and I earn some credit with them and I put the credit towards these boxes. So I appreciate, thank you very much, anyone who's willing to use my code. <laughs> Let's jump in and we'll talk more as we get into it about anthropology and all that. So this is a very simple tank top I can tell right off and it's by Florit, F-L-O-R-E-A-T. See these barcodes? That's how Helpsy Source is like sorting all their inventory right now. They're like each piece of inventory is scanned so that they can put it into these boxes. One of the things I like about Helps you right now is that I can shop by brand. This is a size large, it's a very basic tank top, so I can't imagine that that one is going to bring in much money. Let's see what else we have. There's gonna be stuff in here that I'm like, oh yeah, I definitely would have paid six bucks for that, and there's gonna be stuff that I wouldn't. There are so many anthropology brands. Have you guys ever been into an anthropology show store? Let me know in the comments if you have. Maybe I've got this totally wrong. I'm holding it like this. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Anthropology stores are gorgeous and very, very, very expensive. This is the tag I personally like seeing these days where it says buy anthropology. It's their own line. People can rec recognize it. There's no question if it's anthropology. I think this is a newer piece and I love this. This is a tank top. It's all embroidered. It's a wrap front and then it has this tie around the waist. So that's a good one there. Let's keep track of what we think is good and what we think is not so good. Um, and you'll learn some anthropology brands, maybe some you didn't know. You can always check the interior tag and it'll say made for anthropology or you can check the RN number. It's usually 66170. That's also for free people, Urban Outfitters, anthropology. This is Tallula. This is another really simple piece though. It's trendy, it's a striped, Crop top, it feels good, but not gonna sell for a whole lot, right? This, again, well, this, what does this one say? Interesting. It says for anthropology, but it's a collab of some sort, but I can't see what that says. I'll show you the tag. Maybe it'll come up better on the camera. It says for anthropology, so I like that. But then there's another little name there. I think it's some type of collab. I can't really tell how this goes. There's a button at the neck. This is, I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out as I go. <laughs> this, 
This feels really nice uh, and something weird's happening with the collar. I'm gonna have to steam it in and let me do the little button. Okay, let's just do it right. Let's do this video right. That's called a keyhole. If there's a neckline like that, it can be in the back or the front. That's a keyhole neckline. It's one of the item specifics that you can choose on eBay. And it has sort of like a puffy sleeve. I don't know about that piece. It feels really good. I might get some free people in here, which is one of my favorite brands because that's sometimes sold at Anthro. Vanessa Virginia, I really like this, this line. So hopefully we're gonna learn a lot of Anthro brands. Maybe if you're newer, Vanessa Virginia. Uh, this is an extra small tank. It's sort of textured, has a little bit of like fringe um, and an exposed zipper in the back. I hope I get more than just a bunch of tank tops because I don't know what I can sell that one for. Vanessa Virginia, what I've sold from them the most, Vanessa Virginia, oh my God, that my East Coast accent's coming out on Virginia. Vir Vanessa Virginia is what I want to say, but it's Virginia. I've been living in California 20 something years now. What I found does best for me within the brand Vanessa Virginia is the dresses. This is Sparrow. I really like this line for anthropology. Sparrow. I think this might be one of these colors that you either love or hate. It's very popular. It's like a mustard color. And I find with people that like sort of a, a, a retro look, love this color. A lot of bohemian women love this color. Um, it's got a balloon sleeve here, so that's nice. A, it's like a split pea chartreuse color, so that's nice there. 40 is a lot, so I better speed this along. Let me know in the comments, how do you do selling anthropology? What are your favorite anthropology brands? When I first started reselling 12 years ago, anthropology was so hot. It's like I could pick up anything and sell it really well. I feel like it doesn't sell as well anymore, but I also feel like you really need to know the best brands within anthropology. Is there something sort of sticking up here? I think it is, but we're just gonna pretend it's not. I just cut my hair. Sometimes when I just cut my hair, I feel like I look um, <laughs> like a little kid with a bad haircut, like how I used to look as a kid when they'd cut it and it'd be just like a little too short. Oh well, this is a cool brand. I like this brand, Porridge. I like this piece too, I think, Porridge. Porridge, now let me see if this has the four anthropology tag or RN, cause I'm just not 100% certain whether this one is anthro. So, it does not have a tag that says made for anthropology. And I don't see the RN number, which is 66170. So this is a maybe piece, something I'd have to research. Cute though. It's like a boxy top. It's ribbed. It has a balloon sleeve. It has a mock neck. It has a lot going on for it. I know I've sold that brand Porridge, but I'm just not 100% whether it's an anthropology brand. Oh, this is Velvet by Graham and Spencer. I think this is a this is a brand that is sometimes carried at Anthropology, but not necessarily this piece. Cute little swing skirt, elastic waist, little black swing skirt. See something animal print, so that's fun. I've been trying to add a little bit more animal print to my personal wardrobe. What's cool about this? It's a waffle knit or thermal knit, and it's got animal print, but it's like contrasting like see how one side the animal prints bigger and the other side it's smaller this is pilcro and this is a new piece by pilcro the brand is pilcro and the letterpress but my understanding is they've recently dropped and the letterpress so this just says pilcro so this is a new piece by pilcro so i think that's really great if you fall in love with anything in these hauls you can always find my ebay store and Poshmark Closet in the description section of video. That's where my discount link is for Help See Source. That's where all my helpful tools are, how to contact me and all that kind of stuff is in the description. And by the time you see this, it should all be listed. This is Velvet by Graham and Spencer. Again, I think this is their older tag, this actual like velvet looking tag. I think this is an older piece. Maybe I'll just put Y2K in it. <laughs> this is a t-shirt with, it looks layered with like another t-shirt in it. Come on, we need some really good pieces. I absolutely love that Pilcro animal print top. This is Tallulah again, and it's a bodysuit. Tallulah, Tallulah. This is not a brand I'm very familiar with. There you go. 
I got a helpful tip where it's like, I have to get any part of my face out of the camera in order for the camera to do its job and focus on the tag. So I'm trying to be better about that. This is a size extra small ribbed bodysuit. Like this is something that people want and it will sell, just probably not for a whole lot. Ooh, I see a good print down here. So I'm diving in. A nice color and print. Let's see what this one is. Hope I don't keep everything in this box because that's a bad habit. But I just love everything so much. This looks to be a large size. Ooh, it is. Pilcro for Anthropology 2X. Good. This I can probably get 20 or 25 for. Plus size, great printed, newer Pilcro top. Yes, please. That's a great one. Here's another little number. Let's see what this is. A green tank top. They must have got a bunch of this Tallulah brand in. It might even be like new without tags or something because this is another Tallulah piece. Size medium. We have to do a little research on this brand. It's a crop top and it has lace sides. There we go. This looks like a sweater or something. So let's pull this out. This is another Sparrow sweater. I'm actually pleased with these. I think I can probably get $25 plus shipping for the Sparrow sweaters. I don't know what this print, oh, is it birds? I think these are birds, which is actually definitely going to up the value. People love these novelty prints. So it's a nice cardigan and with a bird print and then sort of like a ribbon lace detail on it. That's actually a really nice one. Good pieces. I'm always trying to be totally honest with you and transparent. I have done really well with these boxes. They help my business out. I've made a lot of money on some of these boxes, um, but they're not for everybody. Not everybody is a wholesale person. I think it's good for you if you need help getting more inventory. I think it's good if like thrifting or sourcing in your area is hard or far away, or you can't find good stuff. Many people say to me, I don't find any, any free people ever in my area, or I don't find any Lululemon. I don't find any anthro. Well, you could order a box of it and then that could like pump up your store. You can get a new tag box. You can get a manifested box where they actually tell you, they give you a list with pictures of everything in the box. So that's pretty low risk. They're a little more expensive, but there's so many ways you can get new tag you can get pre-owned. You can get lots of stuff. Works for me. Another, oh no, this is cloth in stone for anthropology. I'm actually really glad I got this piece because I wanted to show you this tag because in my last video, I found some cloth and stone at the bins, and I consider it like this specific piece was made, made with love for anthropology, okay? So some pieces are made for anthropology and sold there. Some probably weren't ever sold there. This is a black top, has a nice kind of exaggerated bell sleeve, a little keyhole neckline in the back there, size medium, that's nice. Thank you for hanging out with me. I very much appreciate it. I like feeling like we're hanging out and working together. Maybe you're listing or photographing or doing some good reselling tasks um, and spending time with me. This is Moulinette Soars, which is another good anthropology brand that I've done well with, especially in dresses. This is a size four, Moulinette Soars. There we go. Take a look at that tag. I think this is one of the better anthropology pieces for me. This is a really pretty dress. It feels silk. So it's sort of a taupe brown. It's got some pleating and a ruffle right there. And uh, that's a, this is an elegant like cocktail wedding guest type dress. I'm going to say that it's 100% silk. This might be a 40 or even $50 dress. So that'll make up for like a bodysuit that I can maybe sell for 12 or 15, right? Dresses, I'd be really happy with. This is pretty. What's this? Eri and Ali. E-R-I plus Ali. I have found and sold something by this brand. I'm trying to let it come to me. What was it? It did really well, whatever it was, but I can't remember. This is beautiful. I don't know if this originally came with a tank underneath. It's all lace, but it's a chenille soft lace. It's not like a scratchy lace. Gorgeous sleeve detail on that. That's a beauty. You'd have to put your own tank underneath. More waffle thermal knit, which has been really hot. People really like it right now. It's on trend. This is a, ooh, um, a Kemi and Ken. I like this brand personally. I have a few pieces in my own closet. Such a pretty tag, so you can memorize that tag. 
It's really good to hear me talk about it. It's really good to look at the tags. If you want like an extra A plus for your thrift haul times or your unboxing times, write it down. That is how we get it encrypted in our minds so that when we're flipping through hundreds of things at the thrift store, we see this tag and we go, oh wait, this is worth looking up and checking comps for. I remember hearing about that in that unboxing video with Quemby. So you're doing good by watching videos like this because we're you're learning brands and styles and the more knowledge you have, the better sourcer you're gonna be for your business, right? Cowl neck on this one, ivory, high, low, oversized tunic top. Those are all great keywords for us to use. I still watch the trials and unboxing all the time. I've been selling a long time and I'm always learning, always, always things change and or I, a brand that I hadn't heard of and I'll go look it up. It's the best way to do it. This is Maeve, it's an extra small. I still like selling Maeve. I think they make gorgeous dresses. This is a very simple dress by the brand. It's black, it has some covered buttons and it's got some pleating details, but kind of a simple piece of cute little uh, gold bead there on the tassel. So that's a nice detail. Something that feels very silky. It, let me guess, is this Tallulah? <laughs> no, it's not, but I have all these Tallulah tank tops. This is the same as that tank I pulled out the very first one, Florite. F-L-O-R-E-A-T. This is a simple black tank top, but it's hard to show you. When I put it on the mannequin, it'll look nice because it has a crisscross. Those straps are going to crisscross. This has to go through the wash. There's a little something on it. Sometimes these boxes have flaws. I mean, nearly every time there's going to be a few pieces that you just can't sell or you have to stain tree. It's just the way it goes. Velvet by Graham and Spencer. This looks like it's new without tags because it has the tag pull from the brand. Velvet again. Just a nice feeling black slub cotton short sleeve t-shirt. Looks like we have some denim Daughters of the Liberation. Wow, I think these are definitely vintagey. Daughters of the Liberation. I haven't seen this in a while. I don't know why these look vintagey to me. So Y2K, they're a size four. Um, I don't know if there's a date or something on here, but that's probably how I'll market them because they're sort of like a mid to low rise. Well, they're a straight leg. They have a cool wash on them. If something is kind of a low rise and just sort of has that vibe, I've been putting Y2K 80s, 90s in my title. This is chambray, cloth and stone, size medium. So this is what I usually find, cloth and stone, but it doesn't say cloth and stone made for anthropology, like that other piece I showed you earlier. Cute for right now, off the shoulder, lightweight denim chambray dress. Tencel Lyocell, that's what most of their stuff's made out of and it feels great. Here's another velvet by Graham and Spencer. Um, I'm not going to keep showing you that same tag. This is a little t-shirt dress. It's sort of whisper thin, black and white t-shirt dress. Great feeling, lightweight, thin, thin dress. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, how classic. HD in Paris. Another anthropology brand I'm familiar with. HD in Paris. But look at this. Look at the stitching around the collar right there. It's a black, a white and black polka dot. It has a ruffle neckline. Oh gosh, it almost makes me think of like a Parisian woman sitting in a cafe, you know, just so classic. That's a size six or eight, I think eight. Oh, I, I wish I could pull that off and fit in it. I love that. Beautiful. What is this? Oh, this is Maeve by Anthropology, size large. I really like this. It's just a t-shirt, but it's like a special t-shirt. If you're gonna wear a t-shirt, why not wear one like this that has a beautiful print and um, flutter sleeves with the ruffle there? This looks new. Like it does not look like it's been washed or worn, size large. This top I have on now is one of my Johnny Was tops. It's a very simple one from the brand. I thrifted this. It was marked up. I just love the color so much. It is heavily embroidered. It has a nice cut, but it's pretty simple for them. You know, usually they have like heavy, heavy embroidery and it's not all one color, but I liked this piece and it was marked up. I think I paid $30 for it in like the marked up boutique session of a thrift store in Petaluma, California. Torvald, are, are you ready for, ready some, for lunch? some lunch? 
I don't know this brand. Denim Forum, the BF High Rise Loose in a 28. Interesting, do you guys know this? Denim Forum, I love, see? I love learning stuff. These are cool looking, a nice light wash. They look like a, uh, oh, the boyfriend, boyfriend style. Boyfriend style is looser. It has a high, higher rise, kind of longer crop crotch so we'll look this one up you guys denim form that might be something good i don't know Ooh, something look at this fleecy jacket so this is a banger piece so i get like you know a couple tank tops that it's like i don't even know if i'll bother reselling or if i do it'll be for like 10 15 bucks and then you get something like this oversized huge sherpa jacket you want to know what my first thought is though i'm like i'm gonna have to store that <laughs> I have this whole section. I keep my sweaters in like some big bins and the thing's like overflowing, like, you know, storing a big jacket or sweater. I'll still buy them because if they sell, you make the most profit on them, but you got to figure out how am I going to store this in my inventory? <laughs> oh, this is Saturday, Sunday. I really like this brand. So this is a line of anthropology that is more comfort wear. Like, you'll see simple t-shirt dresses, lounge pants. That's what the tag looks like. This thing is amazing. Well, they're saying it's a medium, but this is a huge kind of floral. That's a gorgeous piece. Hopefully, I can sell that one high. More sweaters. So, I'm, they might have put the lightest stuff on top. This is Dolan Left Coast. Even the tag is embroidered. Dolan left coast size small but must be a little oversized this is a silver metallic sweatshirt with a crew neck it's all textured and metallic we're doing good we have a bunch left thank you so much for hanging out with me i think this might be an oh this is a new with tags thank you very much size small for 88 dollars made for anthropology that's a bonus, right? A ribbed cowl neck top, super soft ribbed and like a burgundy nude tag. Look at the nice big bell sleeve on that. Super soft, that's a nice, nice piece. If anyone's looking for like a soft but cute style top, that might be the one for you. Oh, this is Angel of the North. I wonder if this is a newer Angel of the North made in Italy. Okay. Because this tag looks a little bit different. Angel of the North made in Italy. Look at the knit on this. It's an open knit. It's a long cardigan. Long cardigans are sometimes called dusters. And it's got some mixed knit, like there's some heavier knitting in the front, and then look at the great buttons on that. I think this is gonna be another really good piece. The weight of that just feels nice. Ooh, what's this? You know how I love some, ooh, will this fit me? That's always like a, <laughs> so bad, the worst selfish reseller. I'm always like, huh, I buy this for my reselling business, and then I spend the whole time unboxing going, is there gonna be anything in there that'll fit me? Hope you're better than I am. I'm so trying this on. This is Maeve. This is a spectacular piece. Look at this. It's kind of like fringy there. I want to say embroidery, but it's like a little fringe. And the top is embroidered. Look at that neckline. I don't know if I can do a large. I, I probably need an extra large. So one of you guys might end up with my favorite top in the box. Good for you. This is a heavily embroidered piece. This is an old piece though. Too bad, this is Lilka. I j recently did just sell some Lilka pants that were wide-legged, but this one just looks like, it's got a little wash wear if I'm honest, but look at the embroidery, too bad. I mean, it's a cute little dress with, is those pockets in the front? Or is it all, no, side pockets. This just looks a little older to me. Size small, I'll just sell it. I'll just note that that has a little wash wear or pills and I'll sell it cheaper. This is a little tiny bra by Florit. Maybe get 10 bucks for that if I'm lucky. Another Maeve. 
This is an extra small button down striped tunicky top. When I steam this, it'll look nice because there is like a pleat detail in the back. So once I get that all steamed up and put it on my mannequin, it'll look nice. This is pretty, whatever this is. It's a dress, a sweater dress or a long, I think it, it's either a long tunic sweater or it's a sweater dress. This is by Moth. Moth. What size does that say? Medium. It's an open knit, so you'd have to put like a tank or something under. Let's see. Yeah, to me, I'm five, three, four. Um, I think I've just lied and said five, four my whole life, but it might be five, three and a half. That comes like just over my thigh. So that's more of like a tunic sweater. I'm unboxing this, not because I'm in desperate need of a video, because I have so many bins haul videos, but because I'm in desperate need of stuff to list. Like I got my bin stuff, almost, almost all of it is photographed. I think I have eight pieces left on my rack to photograph. And so I need some more stuff to list before I'm not gonna get to the bins for another couple days. So, oh, this seems familiar, but I'm not drawing it up. Amadi, A-M-A-D-I. Seems like a familiar tag, but I'm not having any memory of what it is. This is a dress and it's got some sort of complicated wrapping that happens. So the sleeves are like an open knit sweater knit. It's a ribbed dress and then this thing kind of wraps over. It looks to be in pretty good shape. It's all textured. It feels really, really, really good. The fabric feels good. So we'll see what that is. It needs a little detail. Ooh, another new tag item, $88 for anthropology. These are my size, Pilcro. So this is the older Pilcro tag. Now this tag never made sense to me. Why would you make a tag that says Pilcro and the letterpress, but then put stitching through the letterpress? It's like, why is that a good idea for a tag? I mean, I guess it's memorable, but people can't read it. <laughs> These are really nice. They retailed for, for $88. They are the slim boyfriend size 32. Oh my gosh, and the back has like a little floral detail. So there's floral, there's striped. These look like an oversized because they're a boyfriend fit. Those are super cute. I better get those listed ASAP because it's just the beginning of summer. Here's another Pilcro in the letter press. These look like an older style. It's funny, I can look at something for one second. Size 28. These are like a yellow pair of pants, straight leg. They're almost like, were they meant to be velvety or? It's a unique fabric, whatever's going on with that. Okay, last but not least, and it looks good. Let's see. Looks like a very cool sweater. Oh yeah, this is a really nice sweater. Wow. What a good one to end on. This is anthropology their own line. Okay, I had to start over. On my very last piece, my camera sends me this mean message saying, you've recorded as long as you can. I didn't even feel like it went on that long, but maybe it did. <laughs> this is an incredible sweater, a boxy sweater with these, uh, with these fantastic colors, a nice balloon sleeve there, some metallic stitching. What is this made out of? It's gotta have some Angora or something in it because it's just, so good. Um, acrylic, nylon, wool, and alpaca. This is, if I was going to wear a sweater, this would be the sweater I would wear. So there you go. What are your thoughts on this box, you guys? What do you think? I think there's some really good pieces in here. Some substantial peaches. Pe peaches. <laughs> some substantial pieces that will make up for some of the smaller pieces, I hope. I appreciate you staying with me. Check out Helpsy. Use my discount code, The Grateful Queen. And um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Today, I am feeling particularly confident that I will not make a million bloopers in the video, that I'll just be able to talk clearly and not. I love when I'm watching someone else's video and they're like, yeah, I just don't want to have to edit, so I'm making this video. And I'm like, <laughs> I cannot imagine if I put videos out without editing, because you guys would think I was so weird. All right. So 
this okay? Feels like it's very that direction today. Very my nice matchy pillow. Okay, here we go. Let me get my info. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> and it has a little bit of like a, not a fuzzy, that's not a key word. What is happening here? I wonder if it was supposed to be like that. Fringe is a silk, a, uh, 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 say the words, Quimby. And I'll note has some wash wear and sell it and exp God. I think it's like after one o'clock. Why don't I finish this video and then I'll come get you for lunch?